Good morning, people. Um, it's going to be a bit of a different video. I'm at one of the big car boots today. Uh, Kareem said, go to this one. I wasn't going to go um, because you, some people probably um, saw my Instagram last night. Uh, I was a bit emotional. Uh, and I do say how I speak. Um, you either love me or not. You know, I'm not a bad person. I'll do anything for anybody. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll issue that statement at the end of the video. So stay tuned. I'm just going to go around. It's absolutely massive. I, I do not fancy like walking around most of it because I've still got another two and a half hour drive back home. I am missing my son. Um, and yeah. I'll issue it, I'll talk about it at the end of the video, that is the main part of this video, it's not about picking, I'm going to find something, uh, all the other resellers have been here since 6 o'clock, so let's see if they've missed anything, uh, and yeah, we'll see what we can find. Jesus Christ, he is absolutely massive, and I see a wheelchair straight away, let's see how much they want for it. How much is your wheelchair, mate? How much is your wheelchair? 15. 15? A bit dirty. I know. I, I haven't saying, got the... The wheel things, it doesn't matter. 15, I'm not from around here. I'm not, obviously, you can tell by my accent, I'm right. from Birmingham, so I'm like, no. yeah, I'll give you 15, mate. Yeah. All right, I'm, okay. I'm not pushing you. No, no, I'm all right, mate. That's lovely. There you go. Thanks. Got a wheelchair. It hasn't got the uh, foot rests, but doesn't matter, you know. 15 quid, should get at least 70, 80 pound. I'll, I'll probably put it on for like 70 because he hasn't got the footrests. Uh, why are they all here? These look like they're going to be a lot. 20? Yeah. 40? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 25. Yeah. What I'd ask, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna haggle with you because no. they're worth the money, mate. Yeah. Not doing today is going through clothes because I will be here all day. So I went around about half of the car boot, and literally I am knackered. I'm sweating. <laughs> Dan, if you're watching this, you'd be proud of me, wouldn't you? Straight away, I saw a wheelchair. It didn't have the the foot play, uh, foot part, but you know what? People have still got to buy them. You can, I could buy them for 25 quid. Uh, but yeah, straight away, picked up for 15, should be an easy 60, 70 quid. Um, but the highlight was the Technics stereo, full set, remote, the remotes were 15 quid alone. Uh, yeah, I don't know why that was still there. He wanted 25, I knocked him down to 15, uh, just because the, the speakers was a bit grotty. I'll see if I can scrub them up, but one part of it alone, not working, sells for 15 quid so there must be worth at least 100 quid worth so it's techniques you know techniques is a really good make uh, and i picked up some like uh, adidas like superstar things uh news you can sell them for about 25 quid picked them up for four but yeah um i saw um Couple, couple from the meet here, and they said, "Just leave it. Don't, don't bother. You're gonna delete the stuff." And I went, "No," because um, I've been to both meetups, um, and I'm new. I'm new to reselling. You know, this is my first year, and the one up north when I met Cheryl, and selling Dan and everything, it was nice. It was nice. Everybody made me feel welcome. Everybody talked. We all had a laugh. I um I didn't drink because I was going home that day anyway because I went up there because my nan lives up there. Um, but I was really looking forward to this meet. You know, Karim, I love him. He's absolutely. If you don't follow him, fuzzy um, footwear, he's he's worth following. You know, um, he's the master of you know trainers. And I hope when you do become full time, you smash it, mate. You deserve it. You really, really. Him and his wife are absolutely lovely. A couple of other people I've never met before, they were lovely and I spoke to them. And that's how it should be. When you're meeting people for the first time, you should be, you know, saying, hi, blah, 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 you know, how are you? What do you say? Blah, blah. And I did, the, the people I've done. The people I've known or I've been following or I admired 
absolutely arrogant. I'm not going to name the names, but I had a few drinks, but not until you saw what I saw, you know, the Instagram. That was me. I actually went out with a group of brothers at the end, uh, and they said, you know what, you can come out with us, you know, we'll, we'll take you somewhere else, and everything. And they just looked after me all night. So thank you to them. And I'll, I'm never going to see you again, but yeah. Uh, and I came back, and I was really emotional. I rang my mom. I was emotional. Obviously, my mom's going to watch this, and yeah, I'm going to get them. Nah. If you're a reseller and you follow all these people and you admire them, and everybody says they're like family, and you know they'll do anything for everybody, and to a certain extent they will. But to somebody who's outspoken, and I am, I'm outspoken. I, I would say, I haven't got a filter, but. Just because I speak my mind, it doesn't mean I'm not a bad person. When you're walking past people and they don't even rec you know, don't even acknowledge you, and then you get people saying that you're drunk when you know you've only had five drinks, five drinks. Uh, if you know me, you know my mates, uh, Martin. If you watch, because I know you do, you know when we go out, and my mom knows this. When I go out, ugh, five drinks is nothing to me. Uh, and then when you see other people absolutely bladded and they find them funny and then I'm sitting there, except for like three or four people ask me what you do um, or anything uh, and I'll say I'll sell anything, you know, my thing was going to ching, you know, about four or five times that night and it's like, oh, who did it? And it's like me, you know, yeah, I've sold a, I've sold a Primark t-shirt brand new for 25 quid and I bought five quid, yeah. Um, and I said, just do it, you know, that's what I do. I, I'm here to help people, you know. It's almost, I'm, I'm getting emotional because... No. Nah. Right, right. Whew. Right. Ugh, God's sake. I'm getting emotional because next month is the year of my dad's death, yeah? And he was very much like me. Um, said it how it said it, you know. Um, well, he was. He would. He'd, he'd do anything for anybody. He would look after you. Um, yeah. And yeah, it was. It's hard. I don't like showing my emotions. I do to certain people, but. It's um, hard, it's hard, it is hard. And you might have heard me before talking about when I used to do fitness, it is a very toxic place, you know, everybody's out for themselves and stuff like that. And when I came to do reselling and I went to the summit last year, if it was a breath of fresh air, everybody seemed to talk to everybody it felt like it did feel like a family but over the this year you just it feels like a lot of people if you're not in their little bubble you're not welcome they won't talk to you they'll talk to you if you're new so you can get into their little bubble but they won't talk to you like i said i would talk to anybody it doesn't matter who you are if you're you know, new, if you're old, you know, if you know loads more than me, if you don't know absolutely nothing, everybody's got something that you can bring to the table. No one is an expert. Yes, there might be an expert in a certain field or there might not, but there's always something that you know what other people don't know, other people know that you don't know. And I went to the meet thinking it's going to be absolutely brilliant. And like I said, I, I spoke to about there was about 25 maybe 30 people i spoke to about maybe five six people um i'm not i'm not going to say who you are because you know who i spoke to you uh kareem's um kareem's um mate is an absolute legend i mean if it wasn't for him i will probably would have left and he wasn't a reseller and even he told me that he goes wow some of these people don't they're just they're just why are they like like not want to 
like socialize with anybody else other than you know i haven't seen none of them come up to you except for the ones and i was like maybe they're just stuck up and i think they are i do think they are um and if you watch my videos you either like me or not i'm like marmite you know but i'm not a bad person i will help anybody i will even in car boots like if somebody's trying to sell something for 15 quid per like a pair of trains and it's just like a normal person as house i'll say mate you won't sell them for 15 quid i do this for a living no one's going to buy them for 15 quid get them on vinted you don't have to come out here at six o'clock in the morning trying to sell them for 15 quid you put them on vinted for 15 quid they'll probably go in that week and they're like oh really yeah and uh you know i'll try and help you know people message me saying and i've messaged them saying that's fake right and it's people who are experts at selling it and it's it's um it's it's it just feels like it's not as all it seems you know i'm gonna quite distance myself from all of them i've deleted basically 90 percent of them off of you in instagram they don't bring game anything they don't they don't really help you you know because they don't want to help you you know unless you're in there like i said if you're in their bubble or you you're a follower like a sheep then they'll be bothered with you but if you're not they don't want to know and that's not how life should be you know i've been like i said i've been through a lot this year uh and end of last year my dad died um it's hard, you know, for me, my mom, my son, you know. And then a month ago, my dog died. Well, I'm a big dog person. Um, and it hot, you know, my son's fine. I think I'm actually still um um feeling it more than my son, you know, he's he's a little toughy, you know. And I'm a single dad, yeah. But no one wants to get to know the people, if you know what I mean. No one wants to get to know why people are, you know. I've just had a message from Pangle Shell uh, and Selling Dan. Thank you for the messages. I really appreciate it, you know. Uh, and there is good people. There is good people. Um, and they help you. And, you know, they understand because some people are misunderstood. Some people are out there speaking but the thing is they're the people you should maybe i'm not saying listen to me but they're the sort of people you should watch more or acknowledge more because you know where you stand with them if they're going to say something you know it's going to be point that, that point's been going to be like blunt and you know they're not going to mess you about, you know. I'm a sort of person, if I don't like you, I'll tell you. You know what I mean? I'm not going to kiss your ass. I'm not going to do that. But, you know, it feels like I've had a weekend away from my son. And was it worth it? No, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. The highlight was, obviously, the charity shop. Uh, I picked up some good things. And I've obviously picked up a wheelchair, you can see there. And obviously, the Technics thing. Or was it worth traveling almost three three hours nah it wasn't you know when i could have spent time you know but yeah um i thought i'd address it i'm not going to talk about it anymore you know obviously if you do if a lot of the people who watch my videos don't follow me on instagram uh, you know i can i can tell who watches my videos because it'll come from instagram or you know it comes from people searching um and yeah I do appreciate you all, um, people who watch me, you know. And if, like I said, I'm here for anybody. If you want to start reselling, if you are wondering, is it worth it? Like I am, I'm full-time. I went from quitting my full-time job to coming to reselling with no experience at all, other than bits of stuff I knew about, you know, uh, from obviously retail. And I know what sells and what's popular and everything. And I'm still doing it, you know, what is it, 10 months now, I'm still doing it, yeah. So, uh, I'm on the way home now, finish my hot chocolate and yeah, go home, 
give my son a massive hug. I've missed him so much. Yeah, well. And yeah. Yeah. So that clarifies the video. It clarifies Instagram. It clarifies everything you might have seen. If you don't follow him on Instagram, you obviously won't know what I'm on about. But yeah, it's uh it's a weird video, but thank you for the people who have watched my video, you know, and, and support me. You know, it means a lot, you know. I, like I said, I'm there for anybody. I don't judge people on who they are or anything like that, you know. If you're if you need help or in anything, I'm here to help, you know. I will always message you, I'll always reply, I will never ignore you because you're you've got one follower or you've got a million followers, I'll always reply back to you. But thank you for watching. Obviously, if you want to film it and give me a like, then do that. If you want to comment down below um, saying something, then it's up to you. But thank you for watching. And I hopefully we'll see you again with another video.